Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix solo leveling arise overdrive game lagging, freezing, stuttering or low FPS issue on PC. So let's go through it. So the very first method is to modify launch option. So for that, go to Steam, under library section, select your game, right click on it, click on properties. Now here you have to type minus DX11 and then launch the game and check. If it doesn't resolve the issue, again come back, type minus DX12 and then launch the game and check if it is opening or not. If not, then remove it and then go to the next solution. Next method is to update your graphics card. So for that, go to the Windows search, search for device manager. Now here expand display adapter, select your graphics card, right click on it, click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. This will check and update your graphics drivers. Once done, try to play the game. NVIDIA and AMD users go through the link already provided in the description and you can easily update your graphics card from there. Next solution is to run game as administrator. For that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage now click on browse local files this will take you to the game folder where your game has been installed. Here you have to select the game right click on it click on properties now click on compatibility and then select run this program as an administrator click on apply and ok and launch the game. If it doesn't resolve the problem again come back select Run this program in compatibility mode for select Windows 8 or Windows 7, click on apply and ok. If not, then again come back, select disable full screen optimizations, click on apply and ok. And then launch the game and check if it is working or not. If not, again come back, remove all these selection and click on apply and ok. And after that, move to the next solution. Next method is to verify integrity of game files. For that, go to Steam, under library section, select your game, right click on it, click on properties. Click on install files and then click on verify integrity of game files. So this will check and verify the game files once done, launch the game and check if it is working. Next method is to allow the game through firewall. For that go to the windows search, search for windows security. Now click on firewall network protection, allow an app through firewall. Click on change settings and here you have to search for your game if it's listed. If not, don't worry, click on allow another app. Click on browse then go to the game folder where your game has been installed select the game application add it to the list over here now after adding it select it make sure both public and private boxes are ticked click on ok and then launch the game and check if this helps to fix the issue next is to disable in-game overlay so steam users go to steam click on steam option click on settings now click on in-game and here you have to enable the steam overlay while in game option if it is enabled you have to click on it to disable it after that launch the game and check Next is to close unnecessary background tasks, so for that go to the windows search, search for task manager. Now here you have to check if any app is running in the background without any use. Just you have to select it, now after selecting right click on it and click on end task and this will completely close the app from running in the background. After that launch the game and check if it is working or not. If not next solution is to clear download cache for that. Go to steam, now click on steam option, click on settings, click on downloads, after that go below. Here you have to click on clear cache, beside clear download cache, click on it and you will get a pop up saying this will clear your local download cache and restart steam, you will need to log into steam again. So you have to continue, you have to confirm it and after that launch steam once again and then try to check if the game is opening or not. If not, next is to install Visual C++ files, for that go through the link already given in the description and copy and paste it in your browser. Now after the website opens, go below, from here you have to download on the link. After the link is downloaded, you have to open it, you will get an option of modify or repair, simply click on repair option, wait for some time, unless it finishes and once done, close it, after that restart your PC once, after restarting, again log into the game and check. Next is to increase virtual memory, for that go to the windows search, search for view advanced system settings, now click on settings, click on advanced, click on change, here you have to select the drive where your game has been installed, select custom size, here you have to type 12288 and in the maximum size you have to type 24576, click on set and then click on ok and after that launch the game and check if it is opening now, if not. Next is to disable third party overlay applications. So if there is any third party overlay applications enabled such as Nvidia, Shadow Play or MS Afterburner, then you should disable it. This can lead to unexpected issue while playing the game. If not, next method is to update windows. For that go to the windows search, search for check for updates. 
now here you have to click on check for updates option and this will check if there is any update available you have to update your windows to the latest version and then try to play the game the method is to run the game as dedicated graphics card for that go to the windows search search for graphics settings now here you have to add your game to the list so in my case i have already added it to add it click on add a desktop app after that go to the game folder where your game has been installed select the application add it to the list over here now after adding it go below click on the arrow icon and under gpu preference you have to select high performance and after that launch the game and check if this doesn't resolve then the final solution is to reinstall solo leveling arise over drive game for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage now click on uninstall and then click on uninstall option so this will remove or uninstall the game from your pc after that restart your pc once after restarting launch steam and reinstall solo leveling arise over drive game once again and click on play button to check if it is working or not